Hi, welcome to Cloud Tech Bucket. So in this video, we are going to integrate uh, VMware vCenter in Comfort Common Center. So uh, let's see. Uh, to add the vCenter server, we need to go Protect, then um, Virtualization. Under the Virtualization, you can go through the hypervisors or you can have it into the dashboard. So if you click on Configure, then we'll choose VMR vCenter. So here, lots of virtualization options are available. So in this video, I am going to add VMR vCenter. I already selected that. Then click Next. Then add your vCenter server name. You can use host name. Also, the IP is possible. So in my case, I will use the host name. Just allow me a moment to copy the host name. Okay, I already uh, get the host name and hypervisor display name so you can you can use short name or anything like vcenter or you can use the actual host name so i will uh, use the host name here and credentials uh, if you have any saved credentials that will be shown here in my case i didn't have uh, the center credential uh, saved into here so i will create that just allow me a moment okay so credential name i will use vcenter then Administrator and the administrator local then the credentials and save it. Okay, we'll choose this center and the access node. In this case, I will use the Commodore server itself because I didn't deploy any access node. So for deploying access node, there is two options: one is Windows and another one is Linux. And you can configure the access nodes by online downloading the package, or you can download the offline package, which is dot OBA for VMR. And then deploy it into your VMR uh, infrastructure and integrate with the um, <coughs> Comfort server. So I will select the uh, Comfort server itself. Click next. Here I will not create any VM group, but if you want, if you um, you can create VM group here so that you can you can back up the vms by selecting the vms and also you can integrate the plan over here so i'm not uh, adding the vm group and the plan right now i'll do it later clicking next or we can click on a escape then click finish so vms are on default group <coughs> till now <coughs> okay let me get back to the uh, B center. So in my B center, I don't have any uh, virtual machines right now. So what I do, I create uh, a test virtual machine right now. Just allow me a moment. Okay. So I have created virtual machine into my uh, <coughs> infrastructure. So let's do one thing. Let's create a VM group and then create a plan for backup uh, virtual machine. So before going to create a VM group, let's make a plan for my uh, virtual machines. So what I will do, I will click on uh, create plan, then server backup, name it as uh, VMware, then click next, <coughs> add a storage destination, primary, then storage will be local disk, retention will be uh, one week, then save, click next. And here I will not use the incremental one and the log one. I don't use. Uh, I will use here the full backup. Isn't oh, what isn't that's fine. Um, on every day is 9 p.m. I'll make it 10 p.m. Click save and backup window all day, Monday through Sunday. That's fine. Click submit. Okay, so my VMI backup plan is ready. I will go to protect, then virtualization, and here my VMR vCenter, I will click on here, and then we'll click add VM group, then hypervisor oh, vCenter selected already, click next, then I will choose VMR backup plan, then click next, and here, I will make a VM group, so I will make it as a test group. So into this test group, I will add a virtual machine. So I will click on add, 
then content <coughs> can browse the data center then my cluster and under the cluster i have two host and one virtual machine which is rocky underscore pa i will select that click save i'll select this and then click submit so we we have a plan and we also created a uh, bm group <coughs> so under this bm group we have on virtual machines so now let's do one thing let's test the backup so i click on backup and then i will choose full i will um, untick this because uh, i didn't configure the mail server and click submit okay so you can click on view jobs details so that we can see what's going on into the background <coughs> so in this uh, progress bar we will be able to see what's going on there so as you can see it's 10 percent if we get back to B center, um, here we will be able to see that a, a snapshot is taken. Okay, it's ten percent. And also we have another window. If we click on jobs, then we will be able to see from this window also, and also like previous. Uh, file system or database backup we can click on view logs to see the background uh, operations which is going on you can check uh, all the details that's by from here and click on jobs again so let's wait for a couple of minutes to complete the backup so my bm is uh, uh, very light so you don't take uh, so much time So it's fifty three percent. Yeah, so here the snapshot was created. So, as I mentioned, the snapshot will be created and then it will back up the VMs. And after backups, it will remove the snapshots. And here, as you can see, there is remove snapshots. So, that means backup will be completed. So, let's see here, it's seventy five percent. So, that means it's finishing. Uh, the metadata all those things and writing into the disk <clears throat> okay. so the jobs completed successfully if we click on view job details then we can see yep the uh, jobs is completed so the, we can check it on job history and job history we can see yep it's completed so let's do one thing let's uh, test and restore here <clears throat> we'll go to virtualizations then uh, VMR and then VM groups. So under this test group, we have one virtual machine which is backed up. So I click on here and then we click uh, restore. So to restore, we have a couple of options available. One is uh, guest files, which is inside the, so the files can be restored, and virtual machine files. I mean, the VM DK disk, if we want, we can also. Do that and let us be a ticks to a bm so uh, we, we backed up full virtual machine so we can let us that it's ticks to any any virtual machine and we can test it but uh, in this case uh, and uh, we'll uh, use the full virtual machine to restore and we'll choose the same v center server but we'll restore it on different host <coughs> so we'll select this pbm <coughs> And then change source. Okay, we will make a combo server because we don't have any other uh, options available. Like uh, no agent is there. <coughs> we'll click list restore. Then it will be in place or out place. <coughs> so in, in our case, it's in place. And hypervisor access node is combo server then click next and here as you can see the destination is now uh, may want to be spare uh, 02 but we want to restore it on another machine we'll check on that 
we have additional options, right? Score or you know, that's fine. No, we are to rename the VM. Just a second. Yep, we'll choose out of place. So B center, then destination B center is fine. And access node that is fine. Click next. And then we will choose different DSXI host because uh, DSXI2 was, uh, was there. So we'll make it a uh, vSphere 1. Let's see. We can select that. Yep. So the VM was originally in vSphere 2. So now we will uh, restore it on vSphere 1. Click save and previously it was visible alone on that's fine and display name we should change because on same the center same virtual machine name cannot be uh, placed on so we will have to change the name so we'll do like restore then click next so the first option was it would um, <coughs> replace the um, same name. Oh, we need to set this. Okay. Now I'm selecting this and click next. Okay, notify user on job completion. That's fine. Click next. So power on virtual machine. Uh, we choose no override. We don't need to know. Thread notify the obvious. I will submit it. So we have two options to restore actually. So one is we can restore it on original VMs, original locations. And second is we can restore it on different locations. So let's see, we'll click on the details so that we can see what's going on there. Like previous one, um, we will get a progress bar here or we can click on jobs. And from here, we can also see the progress. So, wait a couple of minutes to complete the restore. In the meantime, let's see in our vCenter if the operation gets started. Okay, so as you can see, uh, a virtual machine, Rocky VM1 underscore restore is already created. So, that means the operation is going on. Let's wait for a few minutes. So it's 95 percent. Click on here. Yeah, that will be copied. Okay, so it took some minutes to restore and job completed successfully. Let's get back to our vCenter server. So here we can see these uh, rocky beams here. So now we can we can see if we can power it on. Let's power it on. This is our restored VM. So if uh, it's a production environment and your uh, production VM has a IP address and then um, on restored VM, you, you, you should not run with the same IP address. So before do that, you can disconnect your network and then you can test it. Or if you have DHCP enabled in your network, and your VM was running in DHCP, that's fine. So let's open the console. Okay, so VM powered on. Let's see if we can log in with our previous user and credentials. Oh, uh, yes, so we can log in. So it's successful. In our latest video, we'll explore more on VM backup and restore like continuous replication, all those things. And we have other virtualization options also. So we'll explore it. We'll see you soon. Our next video. Have a nice time. Bye bye.